when we talked about how to center text. So let me add some text here. So let me add a paragraph. All right. And I'm going to say uh, text uh, or center. So center me. All right. So this paragraph basically says center me. So we will need to select that specific, you know, paragraph. What we can do is we can add a class name here and I can call it uh, centered. All right. So now inside of the CSS, we can simply use a dot to select that specific class and we can say centered. All right. So centered and then two curly braces. So now we basically say text dash align center and we add a semicolon at the end of it and you see our text has been centered. So we have taken care of the first one. So now let's move to the second one which says how to change background color. Well to change the background color is really easy. What you do is basically you add the background color and then colon and then you change it to a different thing. So I'm gonna choose golden rod and you see um, the background has been changed to golden rod. And now we are going to talk about how to change the text color. So to change the text color, what you do is that you add the color and then colon and then you just type in the name of the color. So in this case, I'm going to say crimson. So you see right here, we have changed the text color, right? So next we are going to talk about how to add an image. Well, to add an image, what you do is inside of the body tag, um, you know, you can use this tag it's called image and basically you just type in image and it does not have an ending tag like the other tags um, this one is a unique tag um, and then you'll need to use the source attribute all right so the source attribute uh, basically tells which image should I display for example so on desktop I have an image called cat so I'm gonna simply type in cat all right then period or dot then PNG so as you notice when you type in the correct name um, you know it will show you the image so now this is the cat that I have and right now if I want to change the width and the height what I can do is I can use the width and I can say for example 100 all right by height then I'm gonna say 100 so 100 so you see it's 100 by 100 now and now if I want to, for example, give it more height, I can simply change it to 200. And this one I can change it to 200. All right. So you see we have added this image there. And uh, also you can resize the image by using CSS. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to get rid of these two attributes. So the width and the height. We don't want them anymore. And then inside of the style right here. So what I can do now is that I can give this image a, an ID or a class name. So I'm going to give it a, a class name and I'm going to say cat. All right. So now to select this specific image, what I can do is I can say dot cat. All right. And then two curly braces. And then I'm going to say, for example, with 200 pixels. All right. 200 pixels and height 200 pixels. So basically we have we have done the same thing. So this is exactly the same thing, but this one is CSS and the other one was HTML. So it's up to you which one you choose, but I think the HTML one is obsolete. So now it's time to learn about how to change fonts. So now right here you see this is the default font that displays or right? the browser that displays, but I want to have a specific font. So to do that, what I can do is, you know, I can, for example, change the font of these list items. So to do that, what I can do is, because I have one list, I'll simply be able to type in li, all right? So this will select all of the list items. So I can say, for example, font-family. And you know, if you are using Visual Studio Code, you see it gives you all of these suggestions. So these are the fonts that I have on my computer. So for example, I'm going to choose this one. 
So you see that this one has Lucida Sans and uh, Lucida Sans regular, all of them. Well, what this means is that, you know, it will try to apply these first, but if these ones are not available, it's going to skip that to Geneva and Verdena and so forth, all right, and so on. So it's going to basically apply this one. If it's, you know, for example, if somebody opens my website, that person will be able to see this font, which is Lucida Sans. However, if that person does not have Lucida Sans on his or her computer, um, this one will be skipped and it will try to apply this one. If this one is not there, it's going to skip that one. So this is basically it about how you can change the font family. So now I think we are missing something here. Maybe we'll add it to the list. I'm going to add it right now. I'm going to say how to resize font. All right. So we will learn how to resize the font. Well, to resize the font, basically what you do is you add font dash size. All right. And then you can say, for example, large is going to make it large. But if you want to be more specific, what you can do is you can say, for example, 30 pixels, so 30 pixels. And there you go. It will be 30 pixels. All right. And the default size, I think it's 16 pixels. So 16 pixels, even if you apply it or remove it, you know, it's not going to be changed because the default font size is 16 pixels. All right. So try to be, so try to give it a like, um, a higher number, for example, 25 pixels or something like that. So now I think it's a good time to remove these bullet points. Well, since right here, if you take a look at our UL, so this is my an order list, all right, so it's a UL. If you have an order list, you'll have to type in OL, all right? So now I have the UL and then the LI, which are my list items. So I'm gonna select that, so I'm gonna say UL, UL, and then LI, all right? And then I'm gonna open two curly braces, and I'm gonna save list dash style dash type and I can say circle if you change it to circle it will change it to a different thing but if you want to remove them what you can do is you can type in none and now we don't have any bullet points here so this is how you get rid of the bullet points all right so you'll be able to do everything that we have learned and if you have not understood a specific part you'll be able to simply go back and rewatch the video, all right? So let me know if you have any other questions or comments or thoughts in the comments below, all right? So thanks for watching, everyone, and this is The Wheelchair Guy. Don't forget to like and subscribe.